Continuing on with the step three project from the chapter two folder, what we're going to do here is adjust properties and animate the star. First, let's look at adjusting properties. If I click on the rings layer and hit the letter T, that will bring up the opacity setting. I want to take this down to about 30%. So I'm going to click here and type in 30. Next, I'm going to hit the letter S to show me the scale property. Scale controls the size of an object. I could click on one of these numbers here and drag to the right to increase the size. Now I actually want this to be much bigger, so I'm going to click in this field and type in 1600 and hit enter. Now if you had a photo or a video that you scaled up this much, the quality would be terrible. But because these are shapes and after effects, you can scale them up as big as they want and they will still be razor sharp. Next let's do the same thing to the sun layer. I'm going to select sun, hit the letter T to reveal the opacity property and click and drag down to the left until you get to 30 or just click and type in the number 30, your preference. Let's also hit the letter S and again we can increase the scale here as we drag to the right or left we decrease it. And I'm going to click in here and I'm going to type in 1800. And again because this is a shape we don't have to worry about any loss in quality. So now our project's starting to come together a little bit here. Next let's go ahead and hit the letter R for rotation. Now rotation is a little bit different because we're actually going to animate this. We're going to have it change over time. So here's how we're going to do this. First I need to make sure that my current time indicator is at the first frame. And then there are three steps to creating animation. We'll be revisiting this pattern over and over again throughout this training series. What I'm going to do is first click the stopwatch. Then I'm going to move in time. In this case I'm going to go to the end of my composition. And then I'm going to change the value. There's two digits here. We'll explain that later when we talk about rotation. For now, I'm going to click in the second value and type in 50 and hit enter. By doing this, we've told After Effects that we want it to be at its default rotation state at the first frame. And at the end, we want it to rotate 50 degrees. So in roughly eight seconds, After Effects is going to automatically animate this thing 50 degrees for us. And if we scrub the timeline, we could see that happening. Now we didn't have to animate these rings because they already contain animation when we applied them. That's just the nature of that preset. Now you might be looking at this project thinking, well, there's only one more step and it looks terrible right now, so what are we going to do? Well, in the next step, we're going to answer all questions because we're going to look at effects. So let's go to the file menu, save this as step four in the chapter two folder, and let's get to the effects movie next.